Hello right bags, it's Jade with a milk molar location guide for the new grounded hot and hazy update. I'm going to show you where all the mega milks are in the trash zone, in the black ant hill and the sandbox. How to access them, not simply just where they are. Timestamps are there so you can stick to the zones and don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more. Go and check out the other videos I've already done helping you in grounded and let's go. So I'm right literally by the far side of the bins and we're going to go inside here, otherwise known as the trash. Right near the wall, actually go underneath here. And we're looking for the water that takes us directly underneath the trash bag. Once you come out, you'll be by the food cooler that's tipped on its side. And you need to aim for this can over here. Swim under and under, and there we go, gold molar. Once you come out of here, you need to go further in, and you're going to be going past the black ant hill. Now be warned, the black ant hill has got a lot of black ants, and the soldiers are pretty tough. If you start aggroing or fighting them, they're going to call their friends, and on differently hard difficulties, you will find it a challenge. There's also obviously you've got the toxic stuff as well going on so you may have to make sure you've got a mask or run through and plenty of helium and here it is beneath the old yoke set so now you can see we're at the trashed arts 3000 we basically need to get up high to get the next one so we're going to run through here by the side of the computer you can see the computer there and the trash bin. Let's go all the way around it and then inside the actual trash lid. Again, be warned, there's lots of the toxic gas in this area. So we need to climb up there because that's where we're going to find it. The next one, somewhere. Climb here. And drop down. And there you go, here's the gold one. Now if you're actually careful, you can actually get on top of the dustbin here, which you need to do to get the next one. We need to get up to that point up there. It's also worth pointing out, you can go ahead and drop down and get the spicy cha-cha there as well. So let's jump across. climb on top of the rubbish bags themselves and then hop on top of the computer and up and away we go there are some meaty gnats up here so you do get double the amount of stuff from them normally if you kill them beware again of their toxic gas they're kind of floating around and inside the cup is the last one in this area so i'm going to show you the sandbox ones now and then do the black ant hill ones last as they're pretty tough to get. So on the far side of the sandbox, this is where we're gonna find another one. It's also where you get a reliable way to find pill bugs or roly polies normally. They may be pretty tough to beat here. If they start rolling around, there's not many places for you to run and escape. Keep going up to the dirt pile and you've got one just here. So you will find one on top of the sand castle. You might want to use something a bit more cost effective to do this, like clover pieces to build ramps to get up. And there we go. So next up, you want to run along the red area on the side, all the way from the sand dune over there. It's probably the easiest way to get up, unless you've maybe used a uh, fluff piece to get across the rubbish. That's also a pretty valid option. But anyway, in here is where we find another one. You can't really use a ramp on this side. You're gonna to have to use like a foundation piece. It's pretty tough to find a spot where it'll actually go. But you can go ahead and use foundations. And then just jump on, avoiding obviously the spikes from these guys. 
So in the sandbox, directly from the slope past the leaf, there is an ant lion here in this ant hill, ant lion uh, cave. There are other ant lions in here as well, so be careful. And here's where you find another gold one. And there we go. Just in the moat on the side of the sandcastle, there is a chest. You can get this, get in the key that you can dig up. You're meant to wait till 3.30 when the shadow of the yellow spade, the handle, leaves a little circle. But actually, if you just run around, you should be able to dig it up. Once you've picked it up, you can go back to the chest. And inside, you'll find a milk molar as well as the recipe for the salt mace. So here's the map with all the locations marked. If it's a blue star, it means it's underwater. If it's a white star, that means it's a milk molar. If it's a gold skull, that means it's a mega milk. And if it's a brown skull, that means it's underground. And again, in future, if you see any uh, blue skulls, that means it's underwater too. So I mentioned the Black Ant Hill once. It's pretty involved getting these. So I'm gonna just quickly give you a brief description where you might find them. But honestly, you need to probably go and watch my black ant guide to the black ant hill to really find them. As there's a labyrinth of tunnels, and there's not really much point in me showing you exactly how to run through them. Because you're going to run to so many dangers, and you'll be doing this when you're actually completing the black ant hill for the first time. Okay, so basically, when you've switched on the switch to power the doors for B, that's when you're going to find the first molar probably on the way back through the tunnels. You should be able to see it in some routes. So what you've got to do is go around to the other side and actually use splat burst to break open the rock. Potentially, you can find this much earlier on if you just take the right path, but I still say it's better off when you're actually doing the black ant hill for the first time properly. Throw your splat burst, wait for it to explode obviously, and then it should open up and you should be able to get one. There is a black ant soldier guard in this though, and like I said, if you aggro any of these guys, they are very easy to aggro the whole pretty much ant hill and you will not survive if you're not playing it on anything other than mild. Once defeated, you will see the milk molar. Eventually you'll run back to one of the main chambers and there's another doorway marked B. And this is where you find the second milk molar and it's just sitting here so it's pretty easy to spot. And you have to go this way, you can't really miss this one as it unlocks the assistant manager area. Now to progress you are going to need more splat bursts so take about 4 or 5. You may find some normal brat burst bombs in here as well which can be helped now that you can just drop them. And you can see that's where we found the first milk molar just down below us. So again, you can't really go any wrong in this area. Go through this section here and you'll come into one of the areas that you was in earlier. Pretty much where the scanner and the workbench is. What you're looking to do is to get back to the very first door that you saw the B on, which is in the main chamber. And this goes towards directly the assistant manager boss fight. And this is where we're going to find two gold molars. This first one is really easy to miss. On the left hand side here, there is a rock that you can blow up. It opens up into a very strange mushroom cave. It's got fuzzy mushrooms inside here eventually, once you blow up another rock. I feel like this isn't finished and they'll probably change this in the future though, as there does seem to be a bit of an odd reason to blow up two rocks just to get into a cave that only has one molar. Explore in the cave and you'll find a dirt pile sort of little ledge here and on top of the little oak branch is the gold molar. Next one, again, you can't really miss it. Just go all the way through until you get to the big metal door that you have to press the button and then explode the glass to get through to the boss fight. And on the ledge right next to it, you will find a gold molar. It's usually guarded by at least one soldier ant. And that is every molar and gold mega milk molar inside the trash heap and the sandbox and the black ant hill hope you found this useful go and check out the other guides i've already done the pond as well as the oak tree and i'm going to be doing the picnic table and the haze environment and then the hedge in the future too look out for more guides for me as well and i'll see you at bag soon